we're doing roast duck and uh, just put some apples inside and a couple of apples around the dish and just pat it down the skin just to take all the moisture out and then what I'll do is just um, fork it <laughs> stab it with a fork and there she is that's all prepared and we'll be doing some uh, Brussels, Brussels sprouts in garlic butter and some carrots. Okay, and we'll see you later. Hmm? Not quite sure if we should, if we'll have enough room. Set the oven at maximum at 140, and then we'll give it another um, 20 minutes. That's so two hours for two two k. There we go, and that's our Brussels sprouts. They've got to be peeled. And then just um, crust to help them cook. And we'll boil them for a short while. And then I intend to put them in the oven and finish off roasting them in a butter, garlic butter um, sauce. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just crushing some garlic here. Oh, as best I can. Four cloves of garlic with some butter. So um, I'll carry on with them but in a minute. But I just want to show you the Brussels sprouts which are about to go into the boiling water. And for those of you that are um, not too sure about Brussels sprouts, usually just take the bottom off and then just peel them. They're much better when you peel them. Peel. And then we cross them at the bottom. <coughs> Why? Anyone's guess. It's because that's what our mums used to do. But I think probably it allows the water to penetrate the hardest part of the brussel. And um, so you get pretty good all round cooking of the brussel. Just left these last couple as demonstration models. But just be careful when you're crossing them that you don't cross your fingers. So they're all done. Now, going into this pan of hot water. And we just boil them back up. And they'll be in there for about five minutes. And meanwhile, I shall carry on. Crushing the garlic. And probably add a little bit of oil to this as well and the idea is after the Brussels sprouts have been boiling for about five minutes if that just to soften them a bit and then put them into the oven with a little bit of oil and garlic on them just roast them for about 10 minutes or so so you see them going a little brown. At which point we'll take them out and then bathe them in the melted butter and garlic. There we go. And our duck has got about another 10 minutes to go I believe. So see you in 10. Right, nearly forgot the carrots, bought some and nearly forgot. So what we're going to do is, I've just cut them, sliced them up, put some salt on. One of my favourite ways of doing them is to wrap them in tin foil and just seal one end 
and then we pour just a little drop of uh, water from the kettle in one end and it just kind of steams them up quite nicely not too much water there we go and that will go in the oven and we'll cook um, in there, roast, roast them for about 15 minutes I would think and over here we have our Brussels sprouts which have just been in boiling water for about five minutes and here we have our garlic and butter and we just tip it all over um, a spoon and spoon it through and this is going back in to the oven and before that goes in the oven we're going to take Mr Duck out and he's going to sit on the side and just rest because he's a bit tired been in the oven for two hours so he needs a rest oh dear mm. and there we go look a mm. little bit the apples are a little bit burnt around the sides but not to worry so carrots in the oven ah and we're just going to do something a little bit different for a change I'm not sure how it will go but we'll find out in a minute I'm going to just slice some mushrooms up we put the duck over here I'm just going to slice some mushrooms up quickly mm. and mix them in with the sprouts so we'll have garlic butter they seem to be taking pictures of a hmm okay are you with me mushrooms here look thank you okay never done this before but if you don't try new things then you'll never know if they work and Suddenly, I keep disappearing. I'm sorry about that. I, I am here all the time. I just my camera man. So we've got our garlic butter in there, and I'm just mixing it up quite nicely with the sprouts. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just put the oven onto a, the grill setting. I'm going to lift that up one more, just closer to the grill. And we're just going to try and brown them up a bit. I'm going to give them 15 minutes okay and we'll leave our duck just resting for those 15 minutes and then we'll be back thank you okay so there's our Brussels sprouts they've been in the uh, oven and with the mushrooms in and they just started to brown and they're looking pretty good and also in here of course we've got the um, Our carrots which have been steaming happily there we go that's our carrots maybe a little bit of salt on there just to taste and that's our duck
Mm-hmm. And that's us ready to go. Yep. Shredded the duck. Shred all the meat off and take the skin off for the ladies. Do like the skin. Do the girls. And the bones and the wings all separated. There we go. Enjoy it. Well, one little thing I was going to do. Um, what happened to the butter? Thank you.